severe weather has moved out of the area and there are some more changes to come though. Just in time for the work week, right Andrew? Exactly right. We have lower temperatures on the way, but drier, drier conditions that is for later this week. But for now, we still have those wet conditions around with some lower temperatures. It's mostly in the 60s. Here's a look at Storm Tracker 4 and some of the rain that's around now. A few sprinkles right here in Detroit, much of Macomb County, but it's in these darker areas of green that the rain's a little bit heavier, but not as heavy as it was earlier this evening when we had severe thunderstorms. Holly, you experienced some of those severe thunderstorms earlier this evening. Now we have some light showers that are taking place in that city. Same thing around White Lake, and these showers extend into portions of Livingston County and down towards South Lyon. So we'll have on and off light to moderate rain as we go through this evening and later on for later tonight, especially during the uh, early morning hours of our Monday. Even by dawn, there will still be some raindrops around and it continues to cool off. Going from the low 80s earlier today down through the 60s into the 50s to about 60 degrees by dawn here in the metro zone. South of I-94, same sort of deal. Be prepared for damp roadways from Lambertville over to Adrian. Temperatures starting off in the middle and upper 50s. West of 275, temperatures in the low and mid 50s from Novi over into Livingston County with a few raindrops in the morning. Same thing in our north zone with temperatures down to 50 to 54 degrees from Emmett over to Imlay City. Now the wet weather does not last all week long, but it does feel a lot cooler. For now, it's still pretty mild out there. It's 69 degrees currently, a wind out of the south southwest at around 8 miles per hour. But once those winds switch and come out of the west and northwest, this is what happens by dawn and during much of the day tomorrow, falling to around 60 degrees or in the upper 50s by lunchtime and staying there for the most part for tomorrow afternoon. Even lower for tomorrow night as we go into Tuesday with temperatures slipping into the 40s and chillier conditions for the middle of the week. So don't put away your jackets just yet. Don't put away those knit hats either. You'll certainly need them for Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. We'll get to that in a second in your seven day forecast because we'll talk about whether or not sunshine comes back. We're looking at 66 degrees currently for our friends over in Oxford. Hello, Ann Arbor. You've got 65 degrees with a few raindrops coming down 64 over in Monroe. Here's a bit of a wider view to show you what's to come as we go over the next few hours and into the morning. A few of these areas of green show up. That indicates the light showers that we'll see overnight. A few sprinkles by dawn, but another batch of rain during the middle of the day tomorrow. Now tomorrow afternoon, fortunately, it slowly gets drier and we'll see clearer skies just in time for dinner time tomorrow evening and as we go into early Tuesday with sunshine coming back for the middle of the week. We're looking at 60 degrees overnight with some of those scattered showers. Sunrise is going to be at 637. During the day tomorrow, indoor recess for the kids, that might be a good idea, especially late morning and for the middle of the day. Notice temperatures stay around 60 degrees or in the upper 50s much of the day with 58 degrees by 4 p.m., then cooler with low 50s, but drier by tomorrow evening and around dinner time. Tuesday, a little bit chillier with 40 in the morning, 52 in the afternoon. Wednesday is going to be the chilliest day of the week. Temperatures back down to around freezing and in the upper 20s. That's right, 47 degrees for a high. At least the sunshine comes back, not only for Wednesday, but also for Thursday. Highs up to around 54 or 55, a little milder by the end of the week with a few more spring showers in store. Some liquid sunshine, as I like to call it, for Friday and for the first half of next weekend.